The S&P takes a look at these projections yes. and says they're too optimistic and that there's not enough money being, being put away for a rainy day. You, you buy that? Yeah, I mean, I'll be honest with you. I can't remember the last time, if ever, a rating agency came out after an introduction of a governor's budget with such harsh, harsh criticism. Very, very unusual. It really is. And of course, listen, we're in a recession. Not the governor's fault, but those are the facts. So um, when you look at a budget, you say to yourself, wow, a rating agency already before we've passed it has really slammed it. So you've got to take a uh, step backward and say, well, we've got to look at this thing. And is it realistic? And he wants to cut uh, uh, the, uh, the income tax. We all want to do those kinds of things. But is it realistic in the long run? And of course, it's 3.5% after one year, another 3 another three and a uh, third after the next year. It doesn't, you've got you to live four years to get it. And is it worth it in terms of the budget, but, in but terms party, of the soundness of the budget? But, but your party, the Democratic Party, has said, you know what, this, this is a specious argument that cutting the income tax is nothing. It doesn't mean anything to the, the vast majority of New Jerseyans. We got to cut In terms profit. of real dollars, you're right. correct. We've got to cut property taxes. Everybody in the, in the press conference afterwards said property taxes. But wouldn't that take more money out of the system then? It wouldn't well, it all depends how much you put into that system. But at the end of the day, you know, we, as the governor says, we've got to get our fiscal house in order. And it appears, based on a lot of criticism of the introduction of the budget, that they, that may not be true, that those rosy projections are unrealistic during still what is a recession. Well, it's also a lot of money, many of the critics say. This is $32.1 billion. That's a lot more than it was last year. Uh, I, I've asked some Republicans about that. I said, this is almost like a Democratic budget, isn't it? The way you would criticize the Democrats for spending this much? Do you, are you comfortable with the amount of spending being proposed by well, the governor? I think governor? it's interesting that he increases spending when he's always railed against every former governor increased spending, although uh, I didn't. But um, in any event, unfortunately, the Republican party, uh, you know, um, it's, you know, there's some really talented, great legislators over there, but the governor rules, you know, without question, with an iron hand. But that's and, called leadership. He's got his I, party. You could call it leadership, him, right? but I, I think, and I believe, um, dissent in your own party is not necessarily bad. I had people saying to me, you can't do, that. you can't make cuts in a budget, uh, Cody. You know, I, okay, you, know, you, you say whatever you want, but at the end of the day, uh, we got it done. But for me to say, hey, listen, you can't criticize any of my policies because we're both Democrats. No, that's real. If you do it the right way and it's never personal, that doesn't bother me. Can it? Can it? It's never personal, but you know politics is personal. Well, so with, with last some, time you with, and I spoke, you talked about how personally you were, you felt your party had betrayed you. That was your word at the time. So I'll, there's well, a lot I think of the, the, in, in many cases, the party, not only me, but the party itself, they betrayed by letting this kind of influence by party bosses dictate so much of what goes on in trend. That's very, very sad. And, and by, not, by capitulating to the, the bosses, helping the party capitulate to what Governor Christie wants? I don't care where they capitulate, but if you're, you're that was whispering a question, in somebody's, a ear, <laughs> somebody's ear about how you vote, that's wrong. Yeah. You, you want to do what you think is right. So the influence of the bosses is sad and is upsetting to me, and I think should be upsetting to all the people of the state of New Jersey. They should know that when their legislators vote, they're voting their conscience and not somebody else's interest. When you say bosses, for the benefit of our viewers, who are you talking about? I'm talking about the Newark Crosses, the um, DiVincenzos, maybe Adebato. You know, it's very sad. Very and, what, and what are these bosses doing that's hurting the state, in your opinion? Well, they're not allowing um, the real freedom of speech and uh, freedom of ideas to flow through. What, Listen, what, I'll vote with the, I voted with the governor, and I will in the future when I think he's right, but I'm not going to do it because some party boss told me to do it. What, what issues are not being aired completely because well, of Well, I think a lot these, of issues are being aired because of influence. I, I mean, that's for another show at another day. Well, give, but, give, give but me some examples, though. Listen, I, as I said, there, there's, the laundry list is too long for right now. Um, but that's got to change. But it's a serious charge that you make, though, so, that there are a handful of individuals in this state. I'm not, I'm not the only one who's made that no, charge. No, I'm not saying you are, but you're making it here right now that there are a handful of individuals here in this state who are essentially controlling the way the government operates. You've named some names. Tell me what they're doing or not doing. What they're not doing? What, yeah, what are they, they're not what doing are they the people's business in the right way. Yeah. Those people who are not members of the legislature should not have undue influence in the legislature. 
and it shows up in many, many ways, many ways that most people cannot pick up and the average citizen how, doesn't how realize. Do they, how do they exert that influence? Is it money, by blocks fundraising? And, uh, both by that and by blocks of votes, uh, who's got a job, who's got a contract, so forth and so on. And, and that's wrong. I, you know, I, I entered the legislature, I was an independent thinker, and I want to leave that way. And I think that's the way everybody should enter the legislature and leave. Just vote your conscience. Is it better or worse than it was when you got it's in? It's never been worse in terms of the power of uh, the bosses. I remember when Governor McGreevy was in, and he was criticized, uh, understandably so, about his dealings with the bosses. And at some point in time, he said, I've had an epiphany, and this is wrong, and so-and-so is evil, and it's got to stop. And he was right. Governor, have to leave it there. Thanks for coming in. My pleasure.